be finding itself uh, finding itself at odds with PETA after a USDA inspection found several violations of the Federal Animal Welfare Act. Now the schools respond so they don't comment on specific concerns raised by animal activist groups. James Giles joins us live now after speaking with PETA about this inspection report. James, what do they have to say? Well, Brittany, Steve, PETA says this is about UAB not meeting the minimum standards for the animals in their care, which PETA says this isn't their first time doing the dan this dance with the university. UAB's response, they're doing life-saving work and they take very serious the animals in their care. So we think that UAB can't be trusted to take care of animals. A recent inspection report from the USDA on animal testing laboratories at UAB cite a number of concerning violations for PETA. This particular report, as horrific as it is, falls in line um, with a great history, a long history of violations that the USDA has documented at UAB. The report points out things like ferrets suffocating to death and a monkey having to have several amputations due to burn injuries that went days unnoticed. According to PETA Vice President Dr. Alka Shanda, this is nothing new for UAB. She says a few years ago, a whistleblower came forward. Invasive, painful experiments uh, conducted on monkeys uh, is what this whistleblower shared with us. Uh, but they also sh shared uh, photos and video, which we then posted on our website. And we submitted a complaint then, and the authorities, the government authorities, did find that the uh, allegations of the whistleblower were true. A statement from the university reads in part, in the rare instances where compliance issues are identified, our practice is to self-report to the appropriate regulatory agency and deploy corrective actions in coordination with the regulatory agency's oversight. Shonda says Pete is calling for the National Institutes of Health to investigate. National Institutes of Health is authorized to pull the plug. They can pull the funding and that's what they need to do because as long as those dollars are spilling into UAB, the experimenters are going to continue using animals and they're going to continue to violate uh, these minimal animal welfare standards. It needs to stop. And according to Dr. Sean, uh, the National Institute of Health is looking into PETA's concerns. You can read more on these reports in this story in the WBRC Fox 6 News app. Reporting in Birmingham, James Giles, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side.